Hey guys, what's going on? This is Travis P11. I'd like to welcome you back to the channel. Well guys, today we got a gift from my mom. Uh, she went to Chewy.com and she ordered a little something for Ammo Dog. Uh, in case you haven't noticed in the videos, we got a little three-year-old Corgi that we, oh, I guess you could say adopted back in May uh, from a family uh, out of town. But anyway, uh, so what we have here is the One Tigress Tactical Service Vest Dog Harness. And I'll go through some of the features of it once we go ahead and get it open. So. Uh, let's just go ahead and get started. So first of all, a lot of people ask me why do I use the blunt end of the razor instead of the razor itself. It's actually an old grocery store trick. If you ever go to Walmart and purchase, uh, say, yogurt or uh, any kind of like a carton item and it's got a cut going through the paper, a lot of times it's because people use the blade end and they don't realize that the stuff underneath the tape can be cut. And this dog harness, I have no idea how much packing there is, keeping it uh, protected if it's wrapped or just tossed in here, I have no clue. I know Chewy.com is supposed to be a pretty good company. So um, I like to use the blunt end just to open up tape. Again, I've got like five or six messages on it and people like criticizing me for using the blunt end of the razor. It's because I don't know what's on the other side. I can use the razor, I just choose not to. Anyway, enough of my problem. So, we'll go ahead and see what we got here. Little thank you from Chewy.com. We ordered this, we literally got it in about five days. It showed up at our doorstep. I don't know where it gets shipped from, but as you guys know, I live in central Nebraska. Oh, now this is cool. Now, I've seen One Tigress items before. I think that they make maybe uh, like ammunition holders, shell holders for uh, stocks on, on firearms. And as you know, this is kind of a, a firearms outdoorsy kind of channel. Sorry about that, my dog's in the background. He's excited, he knows there's something in here for him. Okay, so that's simple enough, okay. That's what it looks like when it shows up in the packaging. Got some silica gel in there to keep it uh, protected. All right, any kind of a zipper. Okay, a little zipper pouch here on the top. This is what it's gonna sh look like once it shows up for you. All right, so what we have here is the Ranger Green medium sized. I saw the large size, I think it was gonna be too big for our dog, he only weighs 25 pounds. And the thing about the corgi, corgis is that they have kind of a wedge shape, so it's hard to get stuff that fits them. Stuff is really tight on the chest and then really loose around their weight because of their design. They're not really barrel shaped, they're kind of more just like a wedge. And so with this, I can give them more room up in the front and tighten it up more on the rear. So let's just take a look at this. Here's the what it would essentially be the top. Okay, you got yourself a nice durable nylon harness on the top that we can use to put the uh, leash on. Oh no, that's metal. That's actually metal. It feels like aluminum or steel. You got your bungee cord going on right here. You've got Velcro all over the place. Don't worry, we'll put some gun channels patches on there. Got the One Tigress logo. You got your Molly uh, attachments on there so that you can, well, Molly loops, I guess you could say, so you can put your attachments on there. Now, real quick, let me just tell you what's on the, uh, the website for the features on this harness. What I really like is this little grip handle that you can use to pull back if you need to. That really come in handy, especially in our morning walks when you get back and the little guy's just soaked. Uh, many times I have to towel them off. This is your your chest strap, I guess you could say, the harness that's gonna go around him. So it's gonna be kind of an interesting setup. We'll see what it looks like when he's got it on. Um, just a little bit about it. It says durable, versatile harness, features a heavy duty nylon shell, soft interior padding for lightweight, water resistant comfort, which is good because it's usually fairly dewy in the mornings uh, in the town that I live in. Uh, convenient molly webbing along both sides of the harness, accepts a wide variety of molly pouches. Okay, very cool. And by the way, this ran, just to get it out right now, $33.99 and did not get free shipping, but shipping was only like seven or eight bucks. It wasn't too bad. Uh, fully adjustable neck and chest straps provide a snug, secure fit. An extra long V-ring leash attachment. I think that's what they're talking about right here. Uh, provides added security. Also features a control loop at the front to bring her in close if you need to, or him for that matter, right? And uh, customize the harness to fit your dog style and personality with morale patches and badges. So now I finally have a place to put some patches. Yes, I have patches and yes, we need patches. So, oh, and you've got this little little cinch at the back here that you can use to tighten up the, the webbing on the top. So I definitely think this is going to come in handy for those uh, extended range trips. You know, if I need to carry some extra mags and I'm all out of room, I can just strap them on the pooch and take them with me. So let's go ahead and try this on the Corgi and see what it looks like. All right, we'll be back in just a minute. All right, guys, so we've got the uh, One Tigress uh, Canine Tactical Vest uh, all adjusted, and I've got it on my little Corgi right now. Uh, he really seems to like it, and the fit seems to be really good. It took me quite a while to get the straps adjusted, and honestly, at some point, once we have them set to the way that we want them, we're going to go ahead and trim off this uh, extra bit of straps going on. We do have the little patch holder up on the front, which is awesome, so he's down with the Gun Channel's crew, which is very nice. Um, yeah, I mean, the length, you know, he's about 24 inches long, I think, and uh, like I said, we went ahead and went with the medium, and it seems to fit him really well. <laughs> he's not camera shy, that's definitely for sure, but uh, overall, it is a really good fit on this little guy. So this was the medium, uh, one tigress in uh, ranger green tactical vest, and I'll go ahead and put the link for this on the video when I get a chance. I'll get that updated as soon as I can. Look, it automatically makes him 
much more aggressive, unfortunately. So there he goes. But uh, anyway, guys, I want to thank you for joining me today. Please like or subscribe. You can check me out over on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. I'm also on GunChannels.com with uh, Caliber Corners, the name of my channel. And you can also support us on Patreon.com with uh, Patreon.com backslash TravisP11. Uh, yeah, definitely very, very happy with this little tactical vest. Now, when he's up and walking, it does stretch out and fill out. It's just he kind of bunches up when he sits down. So it is actually a pretty good fit overall and lots of accessories you can put on there. We just threw an extra patch on the side. I got more patches uh, sitting around the house that we need to put on here too. So anyway, guys, I want to thank you for watching. Please like or subscribe. You can check me out um, on all those other social media platforms. And guys, I want you to uh, have fun. I want you to be safe. Lots of range videos coming your way pretty soon. So stay uh, tuned to the channel. And as you know, guys, we will talk to you soon. All right, take care, guys. Bye-bye.